Give the Lord a mighty clap of praise. How many of you believe that God is a miracle worker? And that He fulfills His promises. He keeps His promises to us. Praise the Lord. I love that song. Ever since uh, uh, I've heard it, uh, that was uh, two years ago, and it's one of our favorite songs now. Along with uh, Nothing is Impossible and All Things Are Possible. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm so happy to see all of you here today because today is the Lord's Day. Say to your neighbor, today is the Lord's Day. Apostle John said, I was in the Spirit in the Lord's Day. And what he meant by that is that he was in the right frame of mind. He was in an uh, uh, atmosphere where things were not right. He was banished in the island of Patmos. It was not a uh, resort area, but it was a place for prisoners that have, uh, are being punished by the Roman uh, Empire. But in, in, uh, in spite of that, in spite of all the things that John had been going through, and in spite of the things that we are going through today, we should be in the right spirit, right frame of mind to worship the Lord, to praise Him. Amen? Can you say a big amen? amen? Glory to God. Give the Lord a big, big clap of praise. <clears throat> I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1 to 9. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 9. We can all read it in unison. The Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You know, when I read the Bible, I read it devotionally. And so I try to apply it in my, in my heart. So when the Bible says, when God says, I will bless you, I say, God will bless me. God will make my name great. So, so on and so forth. So let's continue reading. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. And Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. Now how many of you are 75 years old? <laughs> uh, he took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Sabimo arrived there. It of the great tree of More at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord, who appeared to him. From there, he went on toward the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai, or Ai, on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev and... Uh, or towards the south. Let us pray. Our gracious God and heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this beautiful day that you have given to us, wherein we are gathered from the north, the south, the east, from the west, to come into this place to worship you, to praise your name, and to hear your word, because your word is 
life. Your word gives us strength. And I pray, dear Father God, that as we listen to your word, our, strength, our faith will be strengthened, that you will touch the lives of those who are here today, meet every need. And also I pray, God, that you will speak to those who are watching us online, on television, or on radio later. We thank you for your goodness to us. Hallelujah. We ask you, O oh God, that you will anoint the lips of your servant as well as the ears of your people, and we shall be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. We ask these things. Everybody said a big amen. 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 Praise God. Please be seated. We now come to uh, the fifth on the series of our theme, Go Forward. Now, this morning, the title of the message is Go Forward in Faith. Go Forward in Faith. And it is based upon the life of Abram before he became Abraham. Now, the passage that we have read just now is the pivotal point in the life of Abram. Had he disobeyed God, had he not listened to God, his life would just be just an ordinary life. He lived and died and was forgotten. But because of this call of God upon his life, and he believed in the Lord, and he went forward, or he obeyed God to go forward, his life has reached a uh, wonderful destiny which became an example of all of us. And not only example of all, all of us, but became the father of faith to all the faithful to Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that we are sons of Abraham in Galatians chapter 3. Verse 7 to 9, here's what it says. Therefore know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. Now, the question is, are you a son of faith? And in the Bible, you know, this applies to also the women. We are all sons or daughters of faith, sons and daughters of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all the nations shall be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed. Sabin mo, blessed. So you could say, I'm blessed. <laughs> With believing... Abraham. And then in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4, to complete the, uh, our uh, scriptural text this morning. Therefore, when we could no longer endure it, this is Paul speaking, we thought it good to be left in Athens alone and sent Timothy, our brother, and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and encourage your, you concerning your faith that no one should be shaken by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are appointed to this, to this. For in fact, we told you before when we were with you that we would suffer tribulation just as it happened and you know. So it tells us about the importance of faith in our lives, in our daily lives. Now, I want us to zoom in to the life of Abram before he became Father Abraham. And I believe that we can learn a very important scriptural principles that 
you can apply, we can apply in our lives. Just like Abram did. First of all, number one, when God wants you to do something big in your life, He says, leave. Kung nais ng Panginoon, nagagawa siya ng isang malaking bagay sa buhay mo, big or significant thing in your life, He says, leave. Let's go back to verse 1 of chapter 12. The Lord had said to Abraham, go from your country, your people, and your father's household. In other words, go from, meaning leave. Umalis ka diyan. Leave. You see, brothers and sisters, going forward in faith starts with leaving from where you are. First, in your heart, there will be a stirring that makes you uneasy, that makes you anxious to do something, to leave. During the early days of the pioneers, uh, my grandfather had a stirring in his heart to leave Luzon and to go to Mindanao because he said, uh, go to Mindanao, young man, that's the promised land. At that time, there were no... Not many people in Mindanao. So he went to Mindanao. And of course, in Mindanao, he, he acquired many, many lands. My grandfather, especially the, my grandfather on my mother's side. You could see throughout history that people... Have